the same aggressive new face we see on the M3 and the M4. In September 2020, this giant guru made its debut on the M3 and M4, instantly becoming one of the most talked about topics of the year. Some people love it, some people hate it, and some people just can't stop staring at it in disbelief. But one thing's for sure, it caused a lot of controversy, despite the memes circulating on the internet. BMW didn't seem to care at all and actually made those memes come true. So why did BMW choose to design the grill this way? Was it down for the performance? Uh, maybe. Well, the M3 M4 cooling system is top notch, with 7 radiators total in the front and the cooling ducts for the front brakes, and the main radiator core was moved closer to the front for more efficient cooling, which made the grill taller. But if we take a closer look at it, you can see the bumper beam blocking off the middle of the radiator. Once it's painted to match, the grill isn't much bigger than the ones on previous models. What? What the? And get this, the new electric car don't even need the giant grill for cooling, which doesn't justify BMW's design decisions. I'm not saying it can be bigger, it just needs a better design execution. Need an example? <laughs> oh, that's hot! That's hot. Look at this concept BMW review in 2015. I mean, just look at it. Gorgeous, right? And people are absolutely love it and couldn't get enough of it. So what happened? Why do M3 M4 receive such an opposite reaction? After you didn't win sh in my yard, I win all of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? Nolan from Dona Media made an interesting observation. Piggy McPiggersons, I call them. He pointed out that the grill has always been placed above the car's crash structure, creating a clear division between the car's upper and lower section. However, with M3 M4, the grill extends from top to bottom, which removes the division and makes the car look weird. In my opinion, regardless of the crash structure, as long as there's a clear division between kidney grill and lower grill, you will look like a BMW again, just like the CSL concept car. It has a clear top and bottom. Looks beautiful. Nice. But when you look at the M3 M4 and newer BMW lineup, it's hard to see the division. And all of that is just about the grill. In recent years, BMW has tried to push their new bold design language across their M cars and flagship models, which have abandoned a lot of their signature design elements such as halo lights, and it's gone. the hoofmeister kink, and, it's gone. and l shaped tail lights. And it's gone. Uh, what? It's gone. It's all gone. <laughs> so what is BMW's response to their controversial design? It turns out, they did it on purpose. The chairman said they designed their car this way to get people talking, as it's part of their strategy to get media and public attention. But is this strategy really good for BMW? Not really. Because they might have hurt their reputation and driven away their loyal customer base. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. I'm not suggesting BMW shouldn't take risks with their designs. And I also understand that design must respond to stay relevant and competitive in the industry. But as a car brand with a rich and long history, they should never forget who they are. And they should learn from their past successes and continue to evolve designs that are both innovative and visually appealing, while also connecting with their loyal customers on a deeper level. The better way for BMW to get people's attention is to be iconic. And to be iconic, they should avoid being controversial. In the end, it's just appearance. The other most important thing for a car is how it drives. And as we all know, that's what BMW is known for. Many people love the performance of the M3 M4. If you really love its handling but hate its look, you can consider some of the aero kits available to modify. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with my point of view? Or do you think there is something else wrong? Let me know in the comments.
Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home